staff at the Nayo house when he paid an impromptu visit to the facility, which has seen delays in processing passports. Kendiki affirmed that the crackdown on cartels extorting passport applicants at the Immigration Department is among his top priorities. Now, four people have been arrested in connection to the passport processing scandal at the Ayo House. Confirming the arrest, the Secretary of the Ministry of Immigration and Public Services, Julius B. Talk, has assured Kenyans that passport backlog is a thing of the past, adding that new passports will be delivered within three to seven days. He further affirmed the government's commitment to fighting deep-rooted corruption. To facilitate an orderly, timers, and responsive processing of passports and other citizenship documents, special desks have been established to fast track all emergency applications, including those of persons seeking medical care, academic opportunities, and job openings that have clear deadlines and have presented the necessary supporting documents. Moments, as you can see, we still have a large number of um, the people of our country who are looking for passports for various reasons. Some for study, some for travel, others for work, others for medical purposes. Unfortunately for a long time, more than two years now, we have not been able to match the production of passports with the demand. No applicant should give any money to facilitate faster processing in issuance of passports. The backlog of 44,000 applications will be resolved within 14 days and all subsequent applications will be processed expeditiously. So therefore we stand at 44,000 tonight and we are producing an average of 5,000 plus passports per day with two shifts. The Cabinet Secretary for Interior Security, Professor Kithure Kindiki, has said that a majority of the officers in the Immigration Department are professional, dedicated, and patriotic. They deserve to be commended and facilitated to undertake their duties diligently. The few officers who are colluding with brokers to demand bribes from applicants of passports and other vital documents will be dealt with firmly. <laughs> wana jaribu kusumbua Kenya wasipate passport kwa muda mfupi na ninasema kwamba DCI amepewa instructions na serikali kuhakikisha kwamba wamekamata mtu yeyote ambayo anajaribu kuchukua pesa ama kuchukua hongo kwa wa Kenya ili wapate mambo ya passport The Migration Department will receive up to 1.3 billion Kenyan shilling in appropriation in aid beginning the financial year 2023-2024 to enable the acquisition of new equipment, including printers, and revamp the department's infrastructure to offer better services to citizens across the country. Therefore, that has been possible because of the repairs that I've talked about of the equipment, although still we are way below our production capacity. What we intend to do is, as soon as the SJK is available to the immigration department, we'll acquire as many printers as possible, we will improve on our physical facilities. We are going to make sure this place is efficient. We will surprise Kenyans with a very efficient passport processing uh, and very efficient uh, uh, experience. This comes after the Secretary of the Ministry of Immigration and Public Services, Julius Mitok, has revealed that four suspects are now in police custody following a thorough investigation on passport processing. Bitok is assuring Kenyans that the government is doing everything possible to fight the slow pace of passport processing. This ministry has vowed to deal with fraudsters who bribe Kenyans for money to process their passports faster. Speaking in Mombasa County, Bitok says that the piling up is targeted to be resolved within the next two weeks while Kenyans are promised to get their passports within seven days. <laughs> Within a very short time, we have a passport yako bila kusumbuliwa. Most recently, we were able to arrest some of the people who are actually frustrating uh, Kenyans who are trying to get passports in their house. So I want to assure the country that services in their house are going on well. Ruga Ival, Look Up TV. Ruga Ival. The Senate today afternoon passed the Climate Change Amendment Bill 2023. Now the bill sponsored by Kenyan government was moved by the Senate